Welcome to Ignani.com. How to speed up Windows 8 startup time, part 2. There are a lot of tweaks that you can do in Windows 8 to improve its startup and overall performance. In this how to video, I will show you a few more tweaks. Stop unnecessary startup services. By disabling startup programs, you are only 50% done. Do you know, that there are a lot of Windows services that run in the background without your knowledge? These services run constantly in the background, to either support the operating system, or other applications, and most of them are configured to launch at startup automatically. While some of them are important, you will also find a lot of services that you may not require at startup. Unlike the startup programs that we handled in the previous video, where we only had the option to either allow or disable them, we have different options with services. You can use Computer Management Console, to configure how you would want the services to start. To open the Services Management Console, press Windows key plus Q. And enter services.msc and click on the services icon that appears in the search result. Another alternate approach is to press Windows key plus R, which will open the run dialog box. Enter services.msc, and press enter, or click OK. It lets you know the status and description of all the services, so that you can know whether a service is running or not and if it's running whether you can safely turn it off. You can also pause the service and test your system to see the impact. In the startup type column, if you see the value automatic, then that service is configured to start automatically upon startup. Sort the startup type column and you can easily see all the services that launch on startup. Go through each service in the sorted list that has the startup type set to automatic. As soon as you highlight the service, you can see its description on the left hand side of the list. If you are sure that you can safely turn off the service, then it's very easy to do so. Click stop button at the top left corner and it's done. You can also use the properties dialog box. Double click on the service to open the properties dialog box and click the stop button. Since the startup type is set to automatic, the next time you start your PC, the service also starts up with it. Choose manual from the startup type drop down list, and the service will not start automatically at startup unless another service requires it in order to start. If required, you can manually start via the services console. If the service is necessary for an application or for another service, but you don't want it to delay your startup time, then select automatic, delayed start from the startup type drop down. This option will not start the service immediately on startup so your PC will start faster. Once the PC is done with startup, it will load the service. So your startup time is also not affected, but you also have the service running. You can also disable a service by selecting disabled from the startup type drop down. This disables the service so that it cannot be run. However, if the disabled service happens to be critical for an application, then that application will not start. It's always better to not to change the settings to manual or disabled, unless you are not sure. Better search for the service online before proceeding with these settings. The next tweak that I will be showing you is, Windows 8 Fast. Windows 8 provides a new setting called Fast Startup, which helps your PC to start up faster. With fast startup, Windows saves the system information into a file upon shutdown. When you start your PC again, it uses the system information from the file to resume your PC. However, the fast startup feature only works when you shut down your system and start it again. If you restart your system instead of shutting down, 
then it will not work. By default, fast startup is turned on. If you are not sure, then press Windows key plus W, and type power. Select the option, change what the power buttons do from the search results to open the power settings. The fast startup option is in the shutdown settings section. If it's not turned on, select the checkbox next to the option, turn on fast startup, and click on the save changes button at the bottom of the screen to save the changes. You can find, a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how to videos, and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.